retool, rebuild, and take the next steps. Every high school football team in the state of Michigan contends with the same offseason philosophies. For head coach Mark Lemmerin and the Hornets, this offseason has been focused on building bonds. The Hornets return to Fort Custer Training Center this summer, something the team hasn't done since 2017. It is a tradition started back in 2001, and more than 20 years later, is now something that will be handed down from generation to generation. This offseason has been about building around a core philosophy that the coaching staff feels is crucial to building off their 2021 failures and successes, being one unit. The Hornets found themselves traveling up and down hills all season last fall. For the first time since the series started, the Hornets lost their opener to cross-county rival Jonesville. It takes a few years for any team to install their new offense. The Hornets had begun transitioning to a T offense in the late 2010s. While battling some of the toughest opponents in the LCA conference, the Hornets found themselves sectioned off into subgroups within the team environment. But as the season went along, the Hornets had flashes of their potential. A 38-35 comeback victory over Blissfield and a 40-6 victory over Columbia Central at home were just some of the key highlights. 3-6 was the end result of the 2021 season. Since 2001, the Hornets have made 19 playoff appearances. Fort Custer is just a small part of building the Hornets back into being a playoff contender and much more. 2022's Hornets squad has 15 seniors. The Hornets will return three starters from their backfield last season, including seniors Peter Moore and Jordan Barnes. For Barnes, a starter on both sides of the ball for the Hornets, Fort Custer has been the perfect opportunity for the seniors to build a stronger team connection with the younger players, and he hopes that will be the foundations that could build a successful 22 campaign. It is really sick. Getting, being able to like live in the barracks with, with your friends, and not only your friends, your teammates, and it's just like building like a different type of bond than just like regular old practice and all that. I mean, I don't think, I just don't think the chemistry was well. Like there's, there's many reasons like COVID and all that. So there was a lot of like separation between like different classes. But now I think like I have sophomore, like almost best friends. And like last year really wasn't like that seniors and sophomores, you know? So yeah, we're just like all like a really unit right now. Living in barracks, I mean, that just adds to it. Like the chemistry is just getting way better. I mean, things didn't go our way last year, like you said. And, I mean, we're just putting in the work, so we're going to have a good season, for sure. The commitment from the seniors this year has been contagious for many of the younger players. But for seniors like Brody Young, he expects more from everyone on the team, especially as they barrel their way through the tough opening stretch of the season. Every, every single play, every single drill you do, just give it 110%. No matter how, you know, you're going to be tired, you're going to mess up. A lot of them are nervous and mess up in front of all of us. But i just been telling them, just give it your all. We're putting in the work, putting in the work. We're getting ready every single day, We're getting better every day. Uh, it's going to be a good season. We're going to have good times out there. That opening stretch of games includes Big Gate champion Jonesville, BCS champion Berrien Springs, and Division 8 state champion and LCAA league winner Hudson, and then conference rival Blissfield. The Hornets continue to work on becoming a better team, a stronger family, and a fundamentally mistake-free program. A few miles north of Hillsdale, their cross-county rivals hope to do the same thing, building upon the successes of a program that seems to keep reaching new goals every season. Going back to 2021, a melting pot of seniors and juniors led the Comets to their first undefeated season since the 1980s and to another Big 8 championship. They defeated the Hornets in their opening season game. Seniors like Curtis Snap broke school records at the receiving position. Junior quarterback Cohen Keller was integral to defeating their Big 8 rivals reading on the Rangers' home turf. The team took their undefeated Big 8 record to Addison High School, where the team was able to defeat their Cascades opponent in the crossover championship. There have been many highs for the 2021 comments, but if you were to ask head coach Frank Keller or the seniors this fall if they left 2021 feeling satisfied, the answer would be a resounding no. The comments found themselves drenched and defeated in a muddy battle with eventual state semifinalist Michigan Center. The opening round playoff exit was not the way the Comets wanted to end their season. 
the Comets returned to 2022 and started their summer with their traditional midnight practice. For senior signal caller Colin Keller, the midnight practice was just the first step in the team's offseason. Keller sees the potential in his teammates, and the team's new focus on physical power, football, has Cohen and the seniors ready to put numbers in the wing column. Well, this was our first practice of the year. We Every year, the first practice is a midnight practice, just kicking off the season right. And it's fun because it's kind of like a loose practice. We go out, we have fun, we run through a couple plays. We're going to be working as hard as possible to get ready for week one. We're going to play physical, we're going to play really fast, and we're going to do what we need to do to win the game in the end. That's all we care about is winning. It doesn't matter how it gets done. Senior Braden Tryon believes in order to achieve that, as the weeks go on in the regular season, the team needs to be taking away something out of every practice. Tryon thinks that's the mindset the team must have if they want to achieve their district championship goals. The goal is to make sure everyone's getting something out of every practice. We're going to get better every practice, no matter if you want to be there, if you don't want to be there. you got to get better every practice to be that district championship, deep run playoff team. The team has been working hard and having fun in the offseason. Senior receiver Brady Wright hopes to see the community come out and support the team this fall as they battle to accomplish their season goals. I think the team will be fun this year, fun to watch. So I tell people, come on and watch because it could be really exciting this year. Back-to-back -back Big A titles would put a target on any team's back. This is the last season the Comets will be members of the Big Eight before moving to the Cascades Conference. Many of their rivals see this as the final opportunity to exact revenge on the orange and black. For one team, getting revenge against the Comets is not the only goal this offseason, but in fact is a stepping stone as they return to the gridiron hungry to make a deep playoff run. The Reading Rangers and head coach Rick Bailey faced a variety of challenges in 2021 as a team. From COVID to season-ending injuries, the team had to battle through to reach their playoff berth. The team was able to overcome those obstacles to win six games in 2021, and the team took two deep playoff run teams to the brink in their season closer and in their opening round playoff loss. The team fell short of their high expectations in 2021, but being removed two years from their back-to-back -back state title runs has the 16 senior players this fall hungry to make their mark. The Rangers returned several key playmakers to their team in 2022, a roster rich with all-state talent on defense and all-region talent on offense. There's room for each player to grow as head coach Rick Bailey prepares them for their gauntlet of opening season games. For senior quarterback Colton Bassage, the commitment to off-season workouts this summer has been a makeup for their junior year. We just needed more reps. We didn't really put in enough work that's that summer, and this summer I'd say we put in a lot of work heading towards the season. And... Uh, it's mostly more reps, more action. We had a lot of, we had a strong waiver program. A lot of, a lot of people very committed to it. And everyone's been putting the summer in. Everyone's ready for the season to get started. So it's going to be a season to watch. We're putting it all out there. Senior lineman Zach Affolter saw the team separate as the weeks went on last season. That's been the emphasis on his off-season work this year and becoming a leader for the team this fall. And so I thought going into this year, we had to change that and focus more on being a team um, and working well together. And that's something I'm pretty proud of, of this group. We all enjoy each other and we can all um, go get food sometimes and just hang out and we got a good bond amongst our teammates. I think we just have to play harder than the other team. Um, we have a ton of talent, we have a ton of speed. We actually have some pretty good size this year. Um, we're looking good on that side. On paper, we look like a pretty solid team. Um, so I think the biggest thing for us is knowing that every game you could lose. Every game could be your last game. You never know. And I think if we have that drive and that attitude, I think we can do some damage. Reading looks to be one of the most competitive programs in the Big 8 and in Division 8 this fall. Buzz is circled around the team this offseason. The Rangers enter week one, ranked fifth in the latest coaches poll from the MHSFCA. It will be a strong season for all Hillsdale County's 11-player programs this fall. But as the season drags on, the question becomes, who will rise, who will fall, and who will overcome adversities to emerge as a contender and a champion?